Hello there. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play and I'm Rachel. So I'd like to show you how to make some fried uh, corgi fish and also we're going to be using Roman noodles and I'm going to mix, I'm going to have sauteed onions with the Roman noodles and some corn and tomatoes. So I'm giving you a little twist on the Roman noodles, okay? So the star of the day is not the fish, but the Roman noodles. And then I'm going to top the Roman noodle, noodles up with some fried plantains that I already cooked. So already going on is the sautéed onions, I'll show you that, and the water for the Roman noodles. And so let's pick it up from there, okay? Alright, thumbs up, share the video, subscribe, check out my links below, because you might want to support this channel in any way. Okay, let's get started. It's a pleasure serving you. Okay. Okay. So here, you can see I have some sautéed onions already started. I have my water already boiling for the Roman noodles. So the first thing I want to do is I want to drop in the water some corn on the cob. I'm going to put about maybe a half a cup of corn on the cob in the water that where the Roman noodles is going to go. Okay, that's about a fourth of a cup instead of half. A fourth of a cup of corn. And I'm going to stir my onions. Okay, in addition to the uh, corn, I want to add some um, tomatoes. So let me get them. Okay, so I have some diced tomatoes. And I'm going to put about two heaping, like this, tablespoons of tomatoes in the water. Okay, we're going to let that come to a boil before I add the Roman noodles. I'm stirring up my sauteed onion. Okay, while we're doing that, let's season the fish, okay? So I have one pogi fish that's cut in half. Let me show you the size. That was the whole size before it was cut, okay? Alright, so now I'm going to add some herb, uh, garlic and herb seasoning. I'm going to put the same seasoning in the fish batter. This is the fish batter that I'm using. It says fish fry uh, seafood fry mix, okay? I'm going to put the um, garlic and herb in the bag. Black pepper. Onion, granulated onion. And some more garlic, granulated garlic. Okay, so I'm going to turn the fish over and I'm going to season the other side. garlic and herb, black pepper, onion, granulated onion, and granulated garlic. 
Okay, so now I'm going to put the fish in the bag. Close the bag and give it a shake. Now I need to take my onions out. Let me get something to take that out. I'll cut my fire off. Check on our corn and tomatoes. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so the ramen noodle package I'm using it says chicken. Okay. All right, so I have some chicken broth here. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of that. Let me get a clean spoon. Okay. Okay, that's about a half a tablespoon, okay? That's going to bring that flavor up nicely. Uh, I think I also want to add some garlic to that. this is garlic paste we're going to call this a teaspoon okay it's not quite all the way to the end and if you could just imagine that flavor okay so now going back to the frying pan I need just a little more oil to do the fish Okay, that's plenty. You just want to coat the bottom all the way across, okay? Turn the fire on, let's heat that up. Okay, now I'm going to add the Roman noodles. I'm not using the package that came with it because I already used the chicken broth. But if you don't have chicken broth, you use the package, alright? All right, and here's the Roman noodles. Oh, and you can't see the pot. There we go. We're gonna just break this and drop it in. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up. Okay, let's give our Roman noodles a stir, break it up. It's still hard, guys. Okay, let's fry our fish. I'm going to put that on number four. I don't want it to cook too high right now. I'll turn it up later. One piece. 
two piece. Now I don't reuse batter because of the blood that's in the fish, so I'm just going to throw this out. Okay, now I'm going to turn the fire to number eight and check out my Roman noodles. Okay, they're not quite soft yet. You don't want them mushy. You just want them so that they're not hard. And it looked like it kind of doubled in size a little. Okay. Okay, why don't I give you the word of the day while I can, okay? The word of the day. Have you ever treated somebody really bad or you did something mean to someone or you said some horrible words? Well, I went shopping today and it was a gentleman outside the store asking for money. And so he says uh, he just needs four more dollars. And I was just about to go into my pocketbook to give him some money and he just simply snapped. He says, I don't have all day. W w hurry up. I gotta go. And I was like, whoa. So I said, okay. I said, I could say some few choice words to him, but I won't because that's not me. So I said, okay, thank you. Have a good day. And he didn't get anything because he went off for no reason while I was trying to get the money. So when I came out the store, he must have thought about that and he said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry the way I spoke to you. He says, please forgive me. I said, oh, absolutely, I forgive you. I said, but you still have a good day. And I, I went on. So he lost his blessing because he was asking for something and that I was trying to get him something, but he couldn't wait, okay? So don't you do that. Don't um, cut off your blessing because you never know who could bless you and who can't. Because a blessing can come in many ways and from those who you think not. That's the word of the day. Okay. Okay. I'm going to cut the Roman noodles off. I'm going to show you that. Okay. So let me... I'm going to drain the broth off. So let me do that and then I'll show you again. And let me turn the fish before I do that. Okay. Okay. So our fish is done. It don't take long to fish. All right, let me show you that. So here's our ramen noodles with the corn and tomatoes. Looks pretty, right? Here's our porgy fish. And we have our sautéed onions. Let me plate this up for you and make it presentable for just for you, okay? One second. Okay, guys. Take a look at that. So, I wanted some fruits. I put it right on my plate to make sure that I eat it. Here's the fish with the sautéed onions on the top. And I only used half of the 
noodles with the vegetables. Here's the other half. So you see one package and it was what a quarter of cup of corn and two tablespoons of tomatoes. Did all of that. What a view, huh? Okay, let me taste for you. One second. Okay, guys. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm already having an issue. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try the Roman noodles. Adding that chicken broth kicked it right up. Very good. Okay, let me get some fish. I see a bone. I gotta get that out. Okay. Get some fish. Sauteed onion. Mmm. Those are good. The fish is cooked right, it's not all dry. And the cherry. For my fruit. I took the seed out. Home run, guys. Home run. Let me let you get another look. Look at that. How about that, huh? Okay, you cook yours and let me know how your fish came out. Okay? So until next time, do me a favor. Give it a thumbs up, share the video, and subscribe. Let me hear from you. I'd love to hear from you, okay? Until next time, Grandma Ray don't play. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.